All right, let's talk about one of the most anticipated releases of 2024. This fragrance here, which the original was released a decade ago. Of course, we're talking about Bulgari Men in Black Parfum Edition. Let's see how this one compares to the original, originally released in 2014. If this is any good, or perhaps what some people are saying, one of the best releases of the year thus far. Let's check into it. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte here. If you do love to make a great and lasting impression, you know that smelling good is a great way to start. This fragrance here will definitely help you do that. Before we get into the scent itself, how it compares, how it compares to the original 2014 release of Bulgarian Men in Black, I want to tell you that you could try this fragrance if you wish to do so before pulling the trigger, because a lot of people are talking uh, about performance. It smells great, but it could perform better. Let's see if that's the case. But if you do want to try it before you buy it, check out perfume.com which is, again, the partner of this channel. You guys can check the link below with my code MAX12, which will grant you guys 12% off site-wide on anything you want to try, designer, indie, niche, you name it. Check out details below, and you can try the new Bulgari Man in Black Parfum before you buy it. So let's talk about this one, looking at the presentation, looking at the box, very similar to the original. You've got black box, very chic looking, with the rose gold, ever rose gold appointments. Uh, Bulgari, Bulgari Man in Black Parfum Edition, 100 ml, 3.4. This is a, a parfum concentration and the box looks pretty good. This is now, the time you're watching this video, readily available. If you wanna pull the trigger on this, you know, if you wanna blind buy it, whatever, if you think this is something you're gonna love it, even before you try it, you could do that. You could do it at Macy's, I think has. Any general store out there that carries Bulgari will have this in stock right now. However, this is not gonna be cheap. It comes, well, supposedly it comes in a 60 ml and a 100 ml, which I'm showing here in this video. However, I don't see this available anywhere at this point in the 60 ml. The only one that I see available, even in the website itself of Bulgari, is the one you're seeing here today, the 100 ml, which retails for 181 USD. Looking at the bottle, uh, I do love the bottle. It has this really chic, again, square looking bottle. It has the mechanism up here, which you can lock the sprayer or you can unlock the sprayer. Sprayers are very nicely done. Bulgari has quality to the fragrance. The smell is really good. We're gonna get into it in just a second. Very nice, woody, spicy fragrance. It's gonna catch with hello if you like these style fragrances. There's nothing you're not gonna like here. Looks really cool. When you compare this with the original Bulgari Man, the main difference here is that it's, this is more black uh, appointments, uh, very small, um, you know, rose gold nuances. And the original one had a lot more rose gold going for it along with the black. But nevertheless, still very good, very nice, very chic. They're both really good uh, bottles. And the whole man collection is the main focus of Bulgari at this point. I really enjoy the lighter uh, fragrances within this collection, the Terra, the, the Roli, the Wood Neroli, the Wood Essence. I think they're very good, very well blended, great for compliments. And I think they're going to continue to focus on the man's line because I think that is their most uh, successful line as it were. So I digress, let's go back into this one. This one here, the new Bulgari Man in Black Parfum Edition was also signed off by master perfumer Alberto Marias. There is another Bulgarian Man, by the way, this video is going to be a versus video. I'm gonna do a full review here and I'm gonna do a comparison of versus to see how they compare against each other and which one I like better. There is an Orient uh, Men in Black Orient Intense Parfum version of this fragrance, which I believe was limited edition. You can't really find it. I believe it was released in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, but we're not gonna talk about that fragrance in this video. We're only gonna talk about the two available in the market today, which is the Men in Black Original and the Men in Black Parfum Edition. Sp sprayers are amazing. Spraying the blotter here. I am rocking this today, so perhaps at some point in the video, I'm gonna spray myself again. But the introduction here is fire. It smells really good. There is, of course, resemblances and similarities with the original, of course, there should be. This is, after all, a flanker, so they should be somewhere um, close to each other. This one here, however, it's going to be a little warmer, a little spicier, and a little more resinous in the account of the notes that we'll talk about and highlight in just a minute uh, when compared to the original, which I'm also going to spray on the bladder here. And the original opens up easier to wear. This one here, of course, there's a note of rum and tobacco that are very prominent here, very sweet, spicy, warm, seductive, romantic. You do have the same kind of qualities and nuances with the Parfum Edition. However, like I said before, it's going to be slightly smoky, definitely more resinous, a little bit more refined and sophisticated, but still within the same wheelhouse and the same kind of a scent profile with those minute or smaller inflections in the more resinous and uh, even earthy uh, aspect to this fragrance that you could not find with the original. Definitely a lot of spices, whether you go with the original or the Parfum Edition, tons of spices up top. And the spice that really takes it up front and center is going to be cinnamon. If you do like the note of cinnamon, which I love, 
This fragrance will have a ton of cinnamon. You know, comparisons with Spice Bomb, with Wajan from Parfums and Marley, with Herod, uh, all within the same wheelhouse with some inflections. One is gonna be a little boozier, a little spicier, a little earthier, a little uh, more incense, whatever, but that spicy uh, cinnamon blast that you're gonna get in the opening is going to be very similar and true to either one of the flankers, whether you go with the OG or with the Parfum that we're covering today. So if you do love cinnamon, you're gonna have a hefty dose of cinnamon here in the opening. Both very attractive in character, both very seductive, very romantic, great for date nights. Um, I have both right here. This is the OG, this is the Parfum. Um, the OG, I think it's going to be easier to wear. It's gonna be like that Spice Bomb kind of a situation, very similar to Spice Bomb by Victor and Roth. So definitely for a younger demographic, if you're looking for a night out, a date night, sand, romantic situations, the, the original Bulgari Man in Black will definitely fit that bill. Although I always thought the original Bulgari, you know, was always a little less sweet than Spice Bomb. I think Spice Bomb is definitely more youthful, and I shouldn't even be talking about Spice Bomb because it's so similar to this fragrance here. I wanna compare it a little bit to that as well, but this one here, still a little bit more mature and refined when compared to Spice Bomb, Victor and Rolf. I do think this is a better fragrance. That's from my opinion, of course. I think this is a little bit more refined. I do love the tobacco and rum note that this one has. Now, when you go to the new one, the Parfum Edition, supposedly they extracted the rum uh, there's no note of rum that, that talks about in the note breakdown or the tobacco. I still get the tobacco and the rum boozy inflection here. The new Bulgari Men in Black Parfum Edition will not project as much as I would like it to. As with most parfum or extractive parfum concentrations, it tends to stay a little closer to the skin. However, the Siaggio will be really good. We'll talk more about it, you know, performance in, in a few minutes, but it will not project as strong as the OG, the original Bulgari Men Parfum. So if you wanted something to be a little louder and more in projection, go with the original. If you want something a little bit more subdued, more refined, more classy to wear, that's gonna stay a little closer to your surrounding, go with this one. But still boozy, spicy, resinous, woody, definitely a great scent profile, no two ways about it. Just like the original, the OG Bulgari Men in Black, uh, the Bulgari Men in Black Parfum Edition 2024, as it gets the, you know, development phase, you know, the heart of the fragrance. You do have a tuberose floral nuance that adds creaminess and a slightly floral current to the fragrance, some, some inflections of floral nuances. The booziness stays here. The tobacco, um, you know, vibe that I talked about will be here, like a sweet pipe tobacco style uh, inflection that you get here that's very appealing, very attractive, uh, very captivating. Great for compliments as well. This is gonna be one of those fragrances that will definitely capture people's attention in a good way. And you also have the note of iris here, which I love. I always think iris just like the original. Um, this one also has that note of iris, which also with that tuberose gives me off a leathery kind of a feel. The leather note is not listed in this fragrance. However, it is present in the OG. And I do get a leathery saffron tuberose iris feel that's floral, leathery, and definitely creamy in the heart of the fragrance, which really, accentuates the fragrance, making it even better, more refined. Like I said, I find this one less playful than the original uh, Bulgari Men in Black and a lot less playful than the Spice Bomb um, from Victor and Rolf. So if you wanted something very refined, very sophisticated, very upscale, a little bit more mature, then this would be the one that you should be rocking and you should be looking into. The dry down period of this fragrance, that booziness goes away and you left off with this leathery, semi-floral, sweet iris, tuberose kind of a scent that's definitely leathery, attractive, sweet and spicy with those cinnamon and spices inflections that I talked about. Definitely leathery, definitely sweet, definitely attractive, and definitely woody as well. I do get a vetiver patchouli kind of a combo here. Uh, it talks about woody notes or exotic woods or, you know, whatever, but it, there is a combination of woody undertones here that I think are mostly guaiac wood slash cedar, and perhaps patchouli, along with the spices that I talked about, the leathery undertone, the iris. It smells absolutely incredible. Like I said, there's nothing here that you're not gonna like. It's a great composed scent. I think Alberto Maria's, you know, clinched. He nailed it. I think it's a great one. In comparison with the OG, I think this is a little bit more resinous, as I said in the beginning. It, like I said, very similar. They're both very similar. If you, if you try them side by side on skin, which I did, you're definitely gonna see the similarities. However, the original will be on the sweeter side, and the new Parfum Edition will be a little bit smokier, a little bit earthier, and definitely more resinous. 
That is the main thing. And I get more leather here than I get with the OG. The OG, I get more of the tobacco and the boozy inflections. This one here, it definitely gets more resinous, a little bit smoky, a little bit earthy and more of leather undertones. The leather is definitely stronger in this one. So who would wear the new Bulgari Men in Black Parfum 2024? I'd say anybody who was inclined to wear Spice Bomb or Bulgari Men, the original, will definitely enjoy this one because it's definitely in that wheelhouse and that family and that scent profile structure. However, if you were looking for something, if you own those fragrances and you think this is gonna to be too similar, perhaps this is redundant, I don't think it's redundant to wear this only because this gives me a little more than what I'm used to, in the sense that this is more resinous, a little spicier, a little bit more leathery. So if I'm looking for something for dressier situations, early spring, fall, and early winter, I think this stuff will shine like a, like a beast on your skin. It's gonna make you smell great. There's no ways about it. If you were looking for something a little bit more refined, a little bit leatherier, definitely go with this. However, if you already own the other two and you're expecting something incredibly different, then don't look this way because it's gonna be quite similar, quite um, in the same wheelhouse. I do appreciate this fragrance and I am looking forward to rocking this in the fall of 2024 as I think it will fit that weather, uh, that period of the year perfectly here where I'm at in New England slash New York City. Now, one thing I wanna mention is performance. Looking at performance between the two here, I think, or even if you wanna to talk to Spice Bomb, I think the Spice Bomb uh, offerings will definitely have a little better performance. Bulgarian Men in Black, I usually get eight, seven to eight hours on skin. Um, gives me really good performance. Uh, not insane performance, but definitely average or above average. This one here, I would say a little bit below average when it comes to the actual longevity of the fragrance. I got six to seven hours, just about six and a half. Let's, let's just call it at that. Uh, it pushes nicely for the first hour and a half. Uh, if you do spray your clothes or your garment as you walk, walk around, you're definitely going to get real good sillage. Sillage was really good on this. It stays really nice on your skin. It's going to give you that second skin kind of a vibe. People will perceive you, especially if they get within arm's length of you. They're definitely going to get your smell. If you spray the back of your hands and you talk and you walk, people are going to get whiffs of your fragrance. And this is going to be one of those attractive, you know, head turning type scents that will get people asking, wow, you smell really good. It's, it's got this really nice refined uh, spicy, woody, leathery character about it that's definitely gonna get people, you know, complimenting the way you smell. So it has that going for it. Siage was really good, projection was okay, and longevity was, you know, average or below average, you know, about six and a half hours, give or take. Final thoughts on the new Bulgarian Men in Black Parfum Edition 2024. Is this what I was expecting? Perhaps I was expecting a little bit more. And because of the way I went into the fragrance, when I looked at the note breakdown, I was expecting something more. Um, I wouldn't say disappointed, but I was a little bit underwhelmed. Um, very similar to the original with some nuances that are different. If I had to choose one, I would probably go with the OG. But like I said, it's not redundant to own this. In fact, I'll give you a little secret. What I'm looking to do in the next months of fall and winter, in you know, after September, October of 2024, I think I'm actually gonna layer these two. I think this one here in, in you know in the base. And if you spray this on top, you know, layer these two together, I think they're gonna be incredibly well blended. I think they, they, they'll complement each other perfectly. But if I had to choose one, if I could only keep one, I'd probably go with the OG. But definitely worth tracking this out. Try it, I, I wish performance was better. I wish I had uh, some more intricate or exotic, uh, you know, notes in this fragrance to make it pop a little bit more. But who knows, maybe they'll come up with the Men in Black Elixir. I'm sure that's gonna be the next step. And, and when that happens, I'm sure it's gonna give us, hopefully, something even better. Perhaps like an all uh, ever rose gold bottle with black uh, lettering, we'll see. But this one here gets a good from me, it's not great, but definitely good, worth checking out. Check it out, perfume.com. At any given rate, if you guys have gotten your nose on the new Men in Black Parfum from Bulgaria, let me know in the comment section of this video if you like it, if you love it, if you hate it. Of course, if you guys would please do me one quick favor here by hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And of course, hit that bell so you get these videos straight into your feed. And of course, as always, I will see you right back here with another video very soon. It does smell incredible. You're gonna like the way it smells. There's no two ways about it. Guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.